<laughs> All right, gang, here's the deal. Toyota dealers, they are screwed, and unfortunately, Dad, that means customers are likely as well. There is no new inventory at Toyota dealerships, even though their website advertises 193. 193 vehicles, fantasy vehicles, in stock, on the website only, not on the ground. Let's look at this, Dad. We have, is this the new Crown? Yeah, so here we go. There's one Toyota Crown at this dealer's lot. A 41,000, yeah. but Dad, did you see yes. what I saw? I saw an addendum sticker that's falling off and I can't read it. All right, let me get in there. Only 1500 only $1,500, <laughs> <laughs> only $1,500 in market adjustment on your Toyota Crown. But Dad, if you look around, yes, Toyota dealers are screwed because of what? The fact that they have these are all used vehicles over here, by the way. And there's a couple new ones in there, but primarily used. Now, here's one Toyota Tacoma. Let's go take a peek at this, Dad. Okay. Look, here's a hybrid uh, RAV4. Is that used? No, that's a new one. That's a new one. Is it? No, oh. let's just double check. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers yeah, crossed. as I said, it's a used one. It's a used one. Yeah. $36,000 for a 2021. But let's look, Dad. Yeah. We had a new one over here. This is a Tacoma, and I already see a market adjustment sticker. Be careful. $2,500 $2, plus another $1,500 in add-ons. Yes. So this is part of their 193 car inventory. Um, and we're still searching for the other 191. Is this a uh, new car? Uh, I thought that's a used car. Yeah. This has got no window stickers. This isn't a new car. Like, Dad, what is Toyota? What, what are they trying to do? These dealers are desperate. I mean, there's just, oh, there's a new one. Let's go look. Yeah. Let's go look. What's the game plan if you're a Toyota dealer? I mean, we've talked about this in the past. I guess you just become a used car dealer. You become uh, very, very efficient and proficient at selling used cars uh, until you can start getting new cars again and you pre-sell all your new cars. $60,000. Only a $1,500 market adjustment, along with the uh, perma safe, you know, which you, you want to put all your important documents in and your <laughs> red alert um, to let you know when the Russians are coming. <laughs> all right, so what are we up to? We're up to three. Yes. Let's go, let's keep walking. Let's see if we can find a few more. Uh, well, let's let's why don't we why don't we try and head out back and see if there's anything in the back know, if they're like hiding their inventory in the back to make it appear as if they don't have anything so that they can charge you those market adjustments. Nobody loves saving you money quite like Car Edge. This summer, Summer 20 and Summer 100 save 20% on Car Edge Coach or Car Edge Data or save $100 on a Car Edge Vehicle Service Contract. Discounts are automatically applied at checkout. Just head over to CarEdge.com now. There is a trend going on right now in the industry. What's that? Toyota and Honda have no cars. That's not a trend. That is a... <laughs> yeah, maybe they're hiding them in the back. Yeah. A, yeah, maybe. I don't think they are, Dad. Uh, it doesn't appear as if. All right, let's go all the way around the back. Let's see. Um, so, the, the, the concept of let's hide cars from the customers so they don't think we have any cars uh, I don't think that's a real legitimate concept. I think at Ram it might be. Oh wait, we got we've got what looks like a Volvo. <laughs> yes. No, Dad, they have nothing here. Um, they have no, nothing. they legitimately have nothing. They have nothing, and they're damn proud of it. Holy um, cow! Yes. So what they have is a lot of asphalt and some market adjustments. And some market adjustments and 193 vehicles on their website. What's the purpose of advertising those 193 vehicles? I mean, again, we've seen three new cars and on their website they list 190 more. Uh, well, that's to, that's to create the impression for people out there that they actually have cars and then maybe the people will show up and, and say, well, yeah, we have them coming in and uh, would you like to leave a deposit to, to hold one? Do you think this will negatively impact Toyota's market share and brand perception? Because people love Toyotas, 
But imagine you go on the dealer's website and, you know, has 193 cars, you're interested in some of them, and then you show up, and it's like, oh, actually, we don't have that one. We have this one that costs more and has yes. a market adjustment, or you can put down a deposit. Like, that's got, that, that has to negatively impact the brand perception, doesn't it? Oh, I'm sure it does, and I'm sure it pisses off potential customers. Any cars in the showroom? Uh, one. Are you serious? Literally, one. One. No one's gonna be able to see that on the camera. So there's one new car in the showroom. Oh my goodness. Are they out of business? Have you ever seen a dealership with this little a new car inventory? No. Not at least not one that's still in business. And I'm not suggest and I don't want to suggest that, you know, maybe they're not in business, but this doesn't bode well. Let's see, maybe there are a couple more new cars over here. Like maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Watch your step. I don't think so. Are you surprised that there are still the market adjustments? Well, if you only have three cars, <laughs> no, that, that doesn't really surprise me. All right, so there's the used one we were looking at before. What would, what would surprise See, this me looks is new. they didn't have market adjustments when they only have three cars. Really? Yeah. New car? New car. No, oh, there's an addendum sticker. Yeah, it's just in the front. Yes, yeah. and that one's falling off too. This one's only a $1,500 market adjustment. And this is a platinum trim. Yeah. So it's, it seems like only the expensive ones. This is a new car. This is like. another new car. Right, so we're up to five. Let's take a peek. Oh, I already see an addendum sticker yeah. in this car. And the addendum sticker's missing on this one. <laughs> I'm sure it has one. But look at this, Dad, again. It's a platinum. Yeah. It's a platinum. A $54,000 Toyota. You remember Jack Hollis from Toyota North America came out and said, we expect average transaction prices to go up significantly. Let's see, what trim level is this one? This is a- This is an LE? Yes. This is a reasonably priced vehicle. What's the market adjustment? Um, there is no market adjustment. No market adjustment? Yeah. Just $1,600 in permasafe and that communist protection. Yes. All right, so we're up to, what is that, six? Six. Seven. Wow. Another and LE. Memory. And no addendum label. I mean, so dad, if you could find these vehicles, yeah. looks like this is a used one, I can yes, see this. Yes, it is, yes. If you can find these vehicles with no market adjustment, yeah. jump on it, oh, right? Absolutely. Because there, there's 193 advertised online. Yes. And what we just count? Six. Seven. Seven. There you have it, seven. All right, we found a couple more, Dad. $41,000 yeah. new Tacoma. Doesn't seem to have a market adjustment. I can't tell, because uh, the window Let me stickers, check. It's, oh no, it's got, it's got a, yeah, it's got a, a window sticker as well. All right, so Toyota new car counter, we're up to eight. Looks like we have a ninth one over here. Let me yeah. check this out. He sees a 10th and an 11th, $50,000 yeah. price point. No market adjustment, but $1,600, $1,700 added on to it. Wow, it's just remarkable, Dad. Yeah. I mean, if I was in the market, what, what other brands would you be cross shopping with? Mazda, Honda, Nissan. Honda doesn't have a lot of inventory yeah. either. Subaru. Subaru. $48,000 for a Tacoma, man. Wow. Now, somebody's gotta teach them how to put those addendum labels on so they don't peel off like that. <laughs> hang precariously. Well, maybe it's because these cars have been sitting dead. Oh, All right, we've got a Grand Highlander, a Platinum. Oh man, this is gonna be expensive. 60,000. Whoa! Uh, 67,000, this has a $5,000 market adjustment. Wow. Yeah. You can see it laying down right there. Yeah. Here's, a, here's, here's an a LE. Tie for it, Wow. Market adjustment? 1,500. 1500 on a $26,000 car is a yeah. lot of money. Yeah, but you can get a hybrid for under $30,000. All right, so you know what, Dad? Maybe we're wrong. They've got 193 yeah. new cars advertised, and they've got about 15. about 15 actually here. Yeah. There's another Forerunner. $49,000, and the window market <laughs> adjustment's falling off again. Yeah. All right, let me ask you one final question. Yeah. Do you think the inventory situation at Toyota will ever get better, or is this the new normal? Getting getting used to spending fifty-two thousand dollars 
on your well, new I, I, Forerunner? I, I think um, the new normal is this. Um, and I think ultimately we'll see their, their inventory levels increase. Um, I don't think Toyota corporately wants to continue down this path with no cars at their dealerships because they, they're losing customers to other brands that way. So you do or you don't think this is the new normal? I think it's the new normal price-wise. Oh, got it, price-wise. Yes. But inventory-wise, you think they are going to try and build yes. back? Yeah. Yes, I agree with you, Pops. Yeah.